half ounce. Come here. Of liquor 43. Oh, you're not a zombie. Give me that. Ah, God! Paul, you don't have to do this! Yes, I do! No, you don't! I'm okay! No, you're not! You're a zombie! No, I am not! Oh, yeah? Okay, fine. Here, here. Golly! No! Ah. No! Oh, that's just great! Uh, okay, um... I'm gonna go and do the drink show now. Yeah, fine. I'm not going anywhere. You just, uh... Try not to make a mess. To build the vampire's kiss, you'll start with a glass, just a couple of cubes of ice already in there, or you can also start with it completely empty and then add ice as I'm about to do. Now, the reason for this is we're gonna try and get nice clean lines and uh, if you uh, have it already filled with ice as the grenadine's going down, you might have residuals of grenadine throughout the drink and then it's just not quite as clean of a beverage. Into a separate glass, we're going to add one and a half ounces of vodka, half an ounce of cherry herring. In this case, we're using the cherry herring and the vodka instead of just a, a, a cherry vodka. Now, if you have a cherry vodka, just use two ounces of cherry vodka. Add a little bit of Coke. We're gonna integrate that before we pour it over the ice to help create more of a consistent layer. Top it off with a little bit more Coke. And then just garnish with a skewer of Luxardo cherries. And easy as that, you have the Vampire's Kiss. Ooh, that looks good. Can I have some? No. Why? Because you're a disembodied head. You're gonna make a mess everywhere. Whose fault is that? Yours for getting bit. <laughs> is your mom gonna come and pick you up or something? What? You get it? Pick you up? Probably the first time you got picked up by a woman in a while, huh? Huh? <laughs>